Hey guys, and welcome to another Stubbs Effects tutorial. I haven't really been on YouTube for a bit because A, my computer broke, and uh, B, my old Canon HV20 broke. But um, since then I've saved up enough money, and I've built myself a new computer, and the specs will be in the description if any of you guys are curious. And I've bought myself a Canon Rebel T2i, and I'm filming it right now. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to do bullet hits in Windows Movie Maker. It's relatively simple to do. We're going to be using the Comp A Add B uh, method that we used in the explosion videos down here. Basically, all you're going to need is stock footage of bullet hits. You can get it from DetonationFilms.com. Uh, they have a lot of freebies and a lot of stuff you can buy, so check them out. Another thing is Video Copilot. I heard that they have Action Essentials. Um, I haven't really gotten to check that out myself yet, but uh, I heard good things about it. Because Windows Movie Maker has its limitations, we're going to have to get our stock footage before we actually shoot the video, since we can't move it around in Movie Maker. If you don't understand, I'll show you right now. When you start off, you're going to want to select your raw footage first. So um, I'll provide you with um, a clip from DetonationFilms.com, except it's uh, bullet hits from a bunch of different angles. I just uh, switched it up a little bit because um, it kind of sucks to be stuck with one angle. And since you can't move it in uh, Windows Movie Maker, this is all you can have. So uh, see as you see, like there's from the right, uh, I've got it from medium shot from the right, far shot from the right, from the left from the ground as we just go through it, it shows you all the different kinds this one's kind of interesting I did sort of like a machine gun we can use that one today you're going to want to find the shot that you want to base your footage off of so let's say I want to base mine off this machine gun footage right here so it's on the right so we're going to want to have a wall in our footage right here so that the bullets can be hitting something so when I took my footage I made sure there was a wall right here before we do anything you're going to need to somehow get the bullet hit footage onto the raw footage and we use that by using a transition called comp a add b and I will provide you that in the description you can download it along with this bullet hit variation and if you do exactly what I do you should have no problem first you're going to want to go to my computer C depending if you have 64 bit or 32 bit windows uh, your movie maker file should be in one of these two folders either program files or program files times 86 and for my case, since I'm 64-bit, it's in times 86. You're going to go down to M for Movie Maker. You're going to go to Shared. Then you're going to right-click and make a new folder. You're going to call it exactly what I call it. Add on TFX. Spelled exactly like that. Uh, go into it. And you're going to want to drag that Comp A Add B that I provide you. Just drag it on in there. So now when you open up Windows Movie Maker and you go to the transitions you should see Comp A Add B. First you're going to want to import your raw clip and put it into the timeline. After that you're going to want to import the bullet hit. If you go into video transitions you can drag in your Comp A Add B between these two clips and you'll get something like this. You're going to want to drag it to where you actually want the bullet hits to take place. So I want it right about here. So I gotta click, drag almost all the way. So you're going to get something like this. And just the only reason the smoke is going over mine is because I have to export a certain way to get into Windows Movie Maker. But you shouldn't have that problem. And if you do have that problem, then, um, then you have to put a black overlay on these edges. And that's pretty much it. If you have the right software, do some color correction. I'll put in some sound effects and you're done. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. Expect to see me a lot more, and I'll see you next time.